Come on, if I could have your attention one more time, please. It is time for the speeches. And so, uh, first we are going to hear from the father of the bride. And so, Kel, if you can come and say a few words. Hey, well, first of all, I'd like to really lead off with a sincere, sincere, heartfelt thank you from Genevieve and myself for everyone coming, attending this, and, and making this as, as special and as, as wonderful as we could for, for Maya and Sujan. Their uh, happiness and, and, and joy is of paramount importance to us, and we really try to demonstrate that to them and be a part of it with them every single day. And, and having this just wonderful, wonderful cross-section of people here to be a part of that just really kind of gets me right up in here. So uh, uh, I, I'm not a big choker-upper. I'm not a big one of those guys, but uh, the closer it got to coming up here to doing this speech, the, the I guess the more welling of emotions I started feeling. I've really only been in Maya's life for about five years or so and been with Sue Jan for about a year or so. And, and I know there's a lot of good people who brought her to where she was. I feel really, really blessed to have been there at the finish line and watch her transition from that young lady into a woman and now into a wife in an absolutely positively wonderful marriage. Well, when I sat around dreaming about a son-in-law, I wanted a six foot two guy who could reach things for me. I needed really big arms who could lift things for me. And that's what I wanted. But it's like the good Lord gave me what I needed. I needed a Sujan, someone with an incredibly kind heart, not a judgmental bone in his body, and someone to recenter me and make me remember what's really important in life. And it's nice to get to be a part of their life and get to interact with them on a daily, if not weekly basis, and see that young love. And, and when it's done right, and when it's handled correctly, it's really a beautiful thing to see. So in closing, thank you everybody for coming here today. This really means a lot to me and Genevieve and everybody enjoy the rest of the party. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Sandra, uh, in short, Sam. And uh, for those who, do, who, who don't know me, uh, I'm also an university graduate student here, uh, just like Sujan. And uh, it's my first time attending an American wedding and first time as a best man. So thank you for the honor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm very excited to share this moment with all of you. And I have heard that for the best man, we have got three main jobs on the wedding day. First one is to get there on the time, second one is to take care of the rings, and third one is to give you an awesome speech. <laughs> <laughs> so thankfully, I have done the first two jobs without any mess up. Uh, now, honestly, I was speaking, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not that good with my words, so apologies in advance. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. Uh, I met Susan like uh, uh, when he moved in here, like at the end of 2016. I was back then, uh, the, I oversaw the Bangladeshi student community here at the university. So I went to greet him at his apartment with also Samit Dutt, who is also here. And he seemed like an okay guy. Uh, <laughs> so the story I really want to share about is our second meeting. So it was New Year's night, New Year's Eve. Uh, I got back from a late night party at the, like 2 or 3 a.m. And I was trying to sleep. So in the middle of sleep, my phone uh, got ringing. So I was so deep in sleep, I was so tired. So by the time I got to my phone, the call got off. Uh, the call got cut off. And so I looked into the numbers. I didn't see, I didn't remember because I didn't have the number uh, back then. So I got pissed. I mean, who is that guy is uh, uh, waking me up in the middle of the night in the New Year's Eve? So I went to sleep back again. Then again, after a few minutes, I got a call from the same number, and this time I picked it up. And little angrily, I said, "Who?" And from the other end, I hear, hey, it's Susan. Uh, you know, uh, we met earlier today. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, did I wake you up? So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. I mean, uh, I'm tired, sleeping, a bit annoyed. So I replied, yeah, you did. 
And so he continued. I mean, he didn't take uh, much care. So he continued that. Hey, uh, hey bro, uh, I need a favor. Uh, can you give me a ride back to my apartment? I'm stuck at the downtown bar, and I can get an Uber or taxi. I mean, like I was so annoyed to be speaking, and uh, I thought, okay, uh, I must help a brother in need. That's what a gentleman or a best man should do. <laughs> so I gave him, I gave him a ride that night, and the next thing you know, he became my neighbor just three months later. And here I was hoping that I will not ever see him again. <laughs> so yeah, so we got to know each other and we came to know that we actually have lots of things in common. And I don't know why he moved there in the first place uh, uh, in our apartments. Uh, maybe it was because of me or maybe that rent was cheap. Uh, I am 19% sure that it was because of me. <laughs> So yeah, we have lots of things in common. Uh, we love soccer. Uh, we love the same team, Manchester United. Any man that can hear? <laughs> okay. So yeah, and I uh, I love his uh, biryani. Uh, he uh, for those who don't know, biryani is a very special meal, very festive kind of meal uh, in our culture, and he does a uh, good cooking of biryani, and I love to eat them. Uh, <laughs> And we also share the struggles of uh, doing the PhD uh, together. We are almost at the same stage, so that's how we bonded over over the time. And uh, I'm really glad that I got to know Sujan. And not that I only got a great neighbor, but I also got a great friend in Sujan. So I'm very happy for you, ma'am. And I wish your family was very here to share this wonderful vision with you. And I'm pretty much sure that they are very proud of you of the man you have become today and the accomplishments that you have achieved so far. So thanks to you for giving me this opportunity to express my feelings and enough about the room. Now move on to the ride. <laughs> so Maya, uh, I mean uh, if I haven't said it before you are looking absolutely fine today. Uh, so I met Maya about uh, one, and a, one and a half year ago uh, just after they started dating. And I'm really glad that I got to know her. And she's such a caring, amazing, lovely, lovely person. And I hardly have seen her uh, without a smile on her face. And again, talking about cooking, uh, I mean, I, I love to, I love to eat. So. <laughs> uh, I love her pastries. My, me and my mom are, fan, my mom are a fan of her pastries, like the cakes, uh, the desserts that you make, the brownies. <laughs> so. Just checking my <laughs> So yeah, so I'm really glad that my uh, I got to know you. And uh, soon uh, uh, we were actually neighbors. We used to got to hang a lot. And unfortunately, they had to move away. I wish you had stayed with me. Then I'd get to eat more biryanis and more scoopies. <laughs> So, and it fills me with joy to see how happy you guys are together. And although you are from different cultural backgrounds, still you have so much lot in common. And congratulations to both of you for reaching this stage today. And Sujan, thank you again for giving me this opportunity to be the best man in your uh, wedding. And it's been a privilege to do this. And on behalf of everyone here today, uh, I would like to wish you many, many years of happiness in your life. And finally, I would like everyone to raise their glasses and give a toast to this wonderful, lovely couple. Here to Sujan and Mike. Good job. Hey, you guys. Um, first of all, I just want to thank all of you in this room for being here, um, especially the people who helped out today, um, the bridal party, the groom's party. Um, none of this would have happened without you guys, and we're so glad that you're here to celebrate with us. Um, like he said, my name is Sydney, and it's funny because we were actually talking yesterday about just how long Maya and I have been friends. Um, I think we agreed today on like 12 years, 13 years. Um, so we we've been we've been best friends um, and inseparable for a very very long time. You know, we grew up on the soccer field and um, sitting in my bedroom fantasizing about Justin Bieber and um, that's, 
Um, that's actually when I knew um, that Maya was my absolute best friend in the whole entire world because when um, she took me to that concert in Little Rock, we, um, Justin does this thing where he sings One Less Lonely Girl and they pick a girl out of the crowd and she comes up on stage and um, sits up there and he serenades her and she told me when we got to our seats, she said, you know, if they came and picked me to be the One Less Lonely Girl, I would let you go. Um, and that's that's when I knew that moment. I was like, this girl is my soulmate. Um, I love her. <laughs> um, but no, we we we've been through a lot. Um, she moved freshman year of high school. Um, that was very very hard on me. But she made sure that she called me every single day. Um, we texted all the time. We Facetimed. Um, so she has, even though she was gone, she was still she was still present in my life, and she made it a point to be present in my life, and that meant a lot to me at that time and one thing that I loved so much about her growing up and something that I learned from her was that she she had such high standards of the people in her life she sets expectations for you and when you don't meet those expectations she will call you out and she <laughs> and she she keeps you on track and she she wants you to be the best version of herself and she wants that for herself also and so when she first told me about Sujin and she was like, Sydney, I met someone. I was like, wait, what? I was like, you actually, like, you, you met someone? Um, and then I met him, and he was just everything I could have ever hoped for her. And then so, um, every time I leave y'all's house, he texts me before my evening gets out of bed and is like, thank you for coming. We love you so much. Um, so he has not only made it a point to be present in Maya's life, but also in my life and all of our friends' lives, too. Um, you know, this isn't just... Maya and Sujan, it's Maya and Sujan and everybody that you guys love. Um, and that's what's so beautiful about your relationship. You're so you're so welcoming and um, you include everybody and we really, really appreciate that. Um, I've loved watching you guys grow. I've loved spending that time with you. And um, Sujan, thank you for putting that smile on her face. I mean, she's absolutely glowing, you guys. Um, and it, it means a lot to me and it warms my heart that you guys do make each other so happy and that's all I've wanted for you, Maya, for my entire life. Um, so thank you for letting me be a part of this. It's such an honor to stand by you. We've waited for this day for so long. We, we've come a really long way from planning your beaver wedding. Um, so, um, but yeah, also to JJ and Kel, thank you all for everything. Um, you guys have been super great. And yeah, so again, I don't have a drink in my hand, but Let's let's toast again to one more time to to Maya and Sujin. Uh, we love you guys and tonight's for y'all. So let's celebrate. Okay. This time we have to the room, right? So. I would like to thank Kale and JJ for being a wonderful, wonderful parents and helping us through all this way. It's been a lot. <laughs> and I'm never going to repay it. <laughs> I'm tracker. <laughs> um, I would like to thank all my groomsmen and the bridesmaids that put a fantastic work over this last few weeks to help Maya and me out with all this thing we have been doing to putting this uh, dinner together, putting this wedding together. I uh, will love you guys. And okay, just drink on me today. <laughs> uh, to say, for that call, I am uh, from the heart. I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> I needed a ride, and I knew you're not gonna say no. Uh, to Sydney, I love you, and I'll love you as long as I am. <laughs> I love Maya, and I love you. You good luck, Sam, and I got two words. <laughs> so. Sorry for the second one, but it's all right. We'll work it out. <laughs> um, and for the everyone who came to uh, celebrate us today, I, from the heart, I'm really thankful to you guys. This means a lot, and 
Let's enjoy the rest of the evening and have a good party. Yes.